Yeah, pretty good. How you doing? Fine, fine. Gotta turn you off a bit. Hold on. All right, say something now. Testing, testing. One, two, three, testing. Cool. I think that sounds better. All right, so Musashi. I love the name of the Fantask. An underdog. <laughs> sure. Let's see here. So we've got, ooh, we got some rain. We get some weather effect in there. That's kind of cool. A little bit of drama. All right. And it's a Musashi. Musashi is my favorite. And you've got a Yamamoto on it. Oh, you bet. Yeah, they weren't allowed to div in previous events, but in this event, you could have one rogue div mate, and then you could have one other div mate, but it had to be somebody who's not a rogue. Pretty sure that's a regular cam on the massage, it's just the alternate color sheen. Mm hmm. I yep. think you're right. Yeah. It's a nice color. I, I like. I always like blue. Um, yeah, the blue, blue ones tones. look so much better than the green ones on the Japanese ships. Oh, absolutely. I, yeah. Oh, Radiant, if you're here, say something, because you won something. People did really like when we rogues showed up in a div. I'm, I'm thinking you're saying didn't like, because <laughs> they did not like. Well, the enemy team surely liked it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The thing I like about these rogue accounts are these uh, accounts where you can go out and hunt them for doubloons and everything. Is like mm -hmm. people will still play the match, but what will end up happening is like no matter which way the match swings, it's like rogues will make those stupid risky moves or whatever, mm -hmm. just so somebody has a chance to get those doubloons. It's like it's not like they're it's going to do them any good to stay alive. Yep. One of my favorite yeah, things to do. I've run oh. into way too many tryhard rogues still. Nice, nice hit on the harbin there. I mean, yeah, they usually start. tell the rogues, though, they should play normally, like... I think I they mean, should, too, yeah. Pe people get really salty and uh, understandable when they have rogues on their team and they just rush in and die. Yep. Like, that that's not the spirit of the event. I'm not, not saying that they no. shouldn't throw the game, but when the game has clearly been decided, like, when it's a 5v2 and the last two are rogues... And they're mm -hmm. doing everything not to die. Like, give it up. They like, shouldn't like, corner map at, at the very least, right? Like, what, what? personally, with with rogues on either team, right? You can't kill them if they're on your team, but mm -hmm. you know they're gonna end up die or end up playing hyper passively. Like, okay, give somebody a chance to catch you and then get you killed, but it doesn't always happen or whatever. The pro and it's also an issue, it's depending what ship they're playing. As a destroyer, right, they're going to be closer towards the front, spotting, throwing fish, whatever. But people don't tend to play aggressively as they should and uh, defensively when they need to. Like battleships, they don't push. When they should be pushing, they aren't pushing. Like, people are cheap. Mm-hmm. Um, real quick, Very guys, the, the last game on the Lennon... Um, I don't know that I think that's worth putting out on YouTube. What do you guys think? I mean, part of it was I was distracted with the whole voicemail stuff, but the other part of it, like, there's not much to comment in that game, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, no, it, it felt was. like he kind of got pressured and then just decided to go in and take the ram, you know? Right, that's what I mean. Like, okay, I just wanted to double check that um, I was on the right track there. No offense to Kadu, of course. I mean, I'm, I appreciate he sent that in. Yeah, um, a comment I had on that game is it felt like uh, when he pushed in, that was the exact moment he should have stopped and started to back up and tank out a little sure. bit. Um, as far as the rogue game, the, the, any of the events where you have to kill somebody, I mean, they're always going to be very um, controversial, right? Because you're going to get people, like you said, that are tryhards and all that problem and stuff like that. Um, oh, nice hit on the Cleveland there. But yeah, they I, opened up to me a lot this game. They did, jeez. But um, in in general, though, I appreciate that wargaming is at least trying to do something fun. And so I, I always look at it as you know what what is the spirit of the event versus what's the reality. And if if the if the spirit of the event is is right, then I will back that event. 
Um, and that's sure. what I always felt about about these, um, you know, kill me events, essentially. And heck, I mean, free dubs, right? There's nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. Right. I think maybe a little bit of part of the problem with rogues throwing, or generally these event accounts throwing their ships away too soon is the reward structure for the mm -hmm. bounty accounts. Like, forcing, like, in case you don't know, like, they get more rewards, that, like, the more battles they play. And there's yes, a certain true. average that needs to be achieved over yes. all the accounts, and you have to play a certain amount of games yourself so yep. people who don't have that much time but get chosen for the account they just like spam the games as fast as they can so they get the rewards well sure. now you say that and that's true for previous events one thing that was different in this one one thing that was different, different in this, in this one, one is you had to have a specific amount of xp average um per game in order to oh, win your well, rewards yeah. What was the average, though? I don't recall off the top of my head. Kitten would be able to tell. Um, but to be quite frank, um, I like that idea because it, it definitely it definitely forced um, people to be a little bit more careful. And maybe that's where you get the tryharding comment coming in play as well. It's 300 base XP. 300? 300 doesn't matter at all. Like, like mm. you have to, like, even if you just rush in and die, mm -hmm. you probably get enough base XP to cross the 300. Maybe. <laughs> Probably. So, I've been a pirate and a turkey before, and I, I have to say that I think the system for the participants does need a little fixing, because I was personally never a fan of, you know, hey, we have to do X amount of battles to receive these rewards. I think you should just get, you know, as as soon as you hit a threshold, like you've done X amount of battles, boom, mm -hmm. you receive all the rewards max. Rather I, than really pushing players to grind out as many games as they can. Yeah, Lepanto yeah. showing broadside there. Oof. I, I would say that I think, um, by the way, your play style makes sense in the Musashi because you, you can't afford to show cheek. So I like that you're reversing here. Um, sure. In, in regards to, you know, what, what you said, yeah, I get it. Um, I think what they're trying to do with it, of course, is to encourage more battles because more battles equals more prizes given out. Which, hey, you know, if you're doing an event to get prizes to the people, then get the prizes to the people, right? Like, you got to get a lot of games in. That being said, I know a lot of you guys say, hey, I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want games that are thrown because I've got a rogue person on my account, right? And, oh, God, this guy again. So, you know, there, there's two sides of the coin there. Um Generally speaking, I look at it as your individual experience in the battle may be somewhat diminished because of, of a rogue involved, whether it's on the enemy team or the same team. But the net result in general of a rogue being in this game, in, in your battle, is that somebody is winning some prizes, whether that's doubloons, flags, anything else for that matter. Um, and it's something that they wouldn't have gotten by playing that particular random battle. So I look at it as, as somebody's getting an extra bonus. If it's not me, it's not me. I don't care. Um, but I, I do like your idea, Nifty, of minimum, minimum battle threshold, and then you get rewards. I kind of, though, think I, I, I kind of like the Humble Bundle idea where if you beat the average, you know, that, then you get the rewards. But I don't think it should be like if we if we have you know, an average number than everybody who participated gets the rewards. I think it's the people that beat that average get the rewards. And if you post what the averages are, then you're encouraging people to really play uh, who want those rewards. Uh, the people that don't want the rewards, hey, okay, well, you played your minimum. You, you, got, you got some stuff. Cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense, too. My biggest problem, what they did, if you play on these accounts, is the time frames. Mm. Forcing these two tiers for four hours straight, in my opinion, is always too long. Like yeah. whenever I played, I ran out of ships I wanted to play on those tiers. Uh huh. I, I would have much preferred if they lower these sessions to like for two hours okay. for a specific tier and and, and and switch it up more. Saw too many rogues and uh, battleships that lived through the whole game and ended up number one. Um. I got first place once when I played Rogue, but I, did, I didn't run camo, consumables, or uh, modules, um, commander builds, or anything like that. I just, I just ran in there completely naked. 
Um, so if I get number one, I earned that. <laughs> but I know what you're saying. Well, I mean, I think overall these events are good. Yes, there maybe need some reworks for the rogues to get their Ooh. rewards. But everybody always just remembers their worst experience, right? Nobody yep. remembers, yep. you know, like their, their average or, you know, unless you like, yeah, I've killed two rogues and I can't even remember who, what, where, when, and why. Yep. But I can remember the two rogues that were just going to the map border because they didn't want to die. You know, oh. I, 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 you know, I think we all just remember the worst out of the situation. And overall, it's still mm -hmm. a good, it's still good for the game. I, by you the know, way, it's not bad. Getting back to the replay real quick, I, I do like that you changed your direction. You've got a Kitakaze shooting at you. Why would you bother even trying with him? So yeah. I like that you're focusing on the battleships here. Um, unfortunately, you the Iowa corpse as well. Yep, I saw that. I you took one of them. Even further though, because you started pushing after everybody in front of you died. Mm. At this point, I would have already turned away and tried to help the other side because, like, you were pushing blind into two battleships and a destroyer for like a minute. So I will say that the Jean Barts really didn't scare me because I know I overmatched them hard. Yeah. So I wasn't concerned about pushing into them, but I will say that I think this game especially, I could have definitely afforded to do more crossfire. Mm -hmm. Especially, look at the entire enemy team on the other side. Like, you had a lot of good broadsides there that you could have farmed. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, the other thing is he's stopping, like, the John Bart in Iowa from doing any sort of cross shots because they have to deal with him now. Sure. Right? Like, he's right up in their face. Okay. And if they ignore him, for, for what? To do some damage to another guy that's not shooting you? You know, I, you don't know if Nifty's running dead flags because I've mm. been saving most of my dead flags for just clan battles of late. So yeah, maybe you get the lucky detonation. Maybe he's yeah. not running it. Maybe the kitty does something to save you. Now, I think, um, I think it was stupid that they removed the ability to get dead flags from detonating. Yeah, well, there, there's well, a lot of that's what it real. It was stupid that they removed the flags from the achievements altogether. It's not just the detonations. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean. Wargaming is built on questionable choices. <laughs> so. Yep, yep. And that's that's one that I disagree with as well. But, hey, they did. And un unless players put in feedback, hey, I'm really still upset that I'm not getting flags, then uh, the Wargaming is going to look at it and say, oh, well, nobody cares anymore. Because that happened, like, what, six months ago, a year ago now? So Probably more than a year. Yeah. Uh, not so much more money for Wargaming. It's more credits for Wargaming. I think what they're trying to do is bleed... Um, the credits out of the economy because they've 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 really done a lot of, of stuff out there to make it so that people can get more and more and more and more, more credits. So um, the problem is they're bleeding the wrong people with it. Of course, uh, really? Dutch. I, I'd like to comment. Like, on you're never gonna run out of flex. Uh, you don't care about that. Right. Nice but, hit on the, the Iowa. The person who has like 20 million credits and is get, not getting any signals anymore, that's the person that gets hurt. Right. Uh. Um, so I want to just comment too. Dutch, you said clean up your own side first before you go cross shots. I disagree with you there. And the reason I disagree with you is because, is because on your side, if you don't have shots, if, if enemy battleships aren't giving you good broadsides and, and, and ability to overmatch, like let's say this wasn't the Musashi, let's say this was a FDG or I don't know, uh, and, and there's no easy way to overmatch ships, going for cross shots could actually have a bigger impact in the battle because you get rid of uh, some of the, the problems on the other side of the map and that allows them to get around um, and get cross shots on the people that are stuck in front of you. So there, there's that. Desta, I'm with you. I don't use flags as much as I used to. I agree. Even though I can just buy them. And this is somebody with over 2 billion credits. I just buy them. I don't want to. Yeah, I would say for cross shots especially, um, if you're ever up against somebody holding an island, they're tanking out on the other side, mm. and they're stopped broadside, and you can afford to just take them out with one shot, that's, that's usually a viable right. uh, choice. And even if you can't take them out, if you if you whack them and get a decent damage, then they're going to look at you and be like, holy hell, where'd that come from? And they're less focused on their side. That might be what your, also, your team needs to push. We're also not talking about him leaving the flank. He's still there with the ship. That's power so projection. The battleships still have to deal with him. Hmm. 
What I, is... I mean, the, the thing with cross shots is you win your side by destroying the other side. Right? Because mm -hmm. if the other side's able to move up in advance because you're just nuking everything, those guys on your side now have to deal with the other side. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true, Dutch. You have to be a good shot. Yeah, absolutely. Even if Shell's missed, though, like if you're a player and you see Shell's coming in, that, that might give you some pause and think, who's shooting at me from where? And, and then you might think about that person and not the target in front of you. That's all. I also think it's a matter of circumstance. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, right, all it takes is one good hit from a battleship to slap a cruiser off the board on some instances. Or yep. at the very, you know, he's yep. not going to be long for the board. Yep. As Joe. long as the situation can allow, it would be prudent to go reinforce or assist another flank. That's right. And Joel Gamer, thank you for the follow, by the way. And Concept Marksman, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> what? I can't believe you killed that... Petro so easily, by the way. That was ridiculous. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get as much damage as they did off him. <laughs> no. You got that one Citadel hit and a whole... It was like 26k or something. And then you, you even got the kill on him as he thought he was safe. Which is awesome. Oh, concept, I'm doing just fine. I'm having a good time hanging out with all of you guys. I have permission from the wife to stream until 7 today. So I can stream a little bit longer than normal. Um, hopefully that's okay with all of you guys. You require permission? Uh, well, you know, it's easier to get permission than to just basically stream and then get into all the fights afterwards about how long I've been going, blah, 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 you know? Fair enough. It's like, I have to play boats, but you have to be husband. Yeah, let's call it that. What if this Olin do what he just We'll, we'll call like... it that because that's the amazing way of putting it. Yeah, the... that Olin <sighs> made a big blunder there. I, I was thinking yeah. he was going for the enemy base, which would have probably helped his team a lot more than trying to rush into me like that. I think the Olin was oh, trying I, I, to I, find a way to, to reset you, but unfortunately you popped out right at the moment that he didn't expect you to be there. But he, he had to know exactly where he was. Like, he was... Like, <laughs> I'll get it. Like, the Musashi's just, there. Just, Why do you just, get so close? Just pay and them all. Pay them all. Ditch. Like the Alaska. Pay him right now. You're paying him. Look at him. He's just sitting still. Oh, he took the ram. He did take the ram. I wish he hadn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he would have gotten more damage. <laughs> yeah, you're at 284k, which is really nice. He, he stole your Kraken. Become a decent shot by Did, did he, though? Did he? Oh, your Fantasca is not shooting? Okay. Like, why is this Fantasca not shooting? I'm not sure. He doesn't need to right now. Honestly. He can't kill the turrets before the turret shells even reach the Fantasca. There's no reason for the Fantasca to not shoot right now. He's he, he just shot. There you go. He did get the decaf. I think he was waiting because he wanted to... Oh, you got the Kraken and fireworks at the end to celebrate Yay. your victory. Too bad they weren't like, you know, usable throughout yeah, the game. Look at all the heal you would have gotten if the game lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. 